All right, so this whole video stemmed from the fact there was a comment on one of my videos the other day telling me that the guys over at the Is Your Six Covered podcast were talking about the shot I recently did on an egg at a thousand yards. They were talking about it in the concept of the fact that they have a have a challenge going on amongst themselves to shoot a golf ball at 600 yards. Um, and their caveat to the golf ball challenge is it has to be done within one or two shots from cold bore. Um, and since I had to go out today to do some F-class practice, I just cleaned the rifle. I needed to get the barrel good and seasoned. I've got a match coming up this Sunday. Um, and I wanted to get a little practice in as well before. So before I even laid down at 1,000 yards to do any 1,000 yard practice for the match, uh, I laid down at 600 yards, actually 611 yards, to attempt their challenge. And you guys will see my results. And I also want to say you'll notice that my video uh, from my firing position is significantly better than it's ever been. And there's a good reason for that. I was telling the guys over at Hawk Optics that I needed uh, my that I needed something different for my firing position. And they just, they were awesome enough to send me out this. This is their Hawk Endurance ED spotting scope. It's the 25 to 75 by by 85. Um, and you guys will see in the video just how much clearer and how much better my videos are going to look for the foreseeable future. Now you guys know I typically don't even do shots uh, or rarely do anything inside of a thousand yards. But this thing, even through all the mirage we had today, you'll see just how good this video looks. I didn't even have to use a downrange camera because I was able to see everything from 600 yards away like it was right there. Um, and my videos should be that good for, from now on because of the spotting scope. So if you guys wanna support me, you guys can absolutely go check out Hawk Optics. Uh, they have not only spotting scopes, they have regular scopes, all in, pretty much any type of rifle scope that you could need. Uh, they have it, and they have it at a really good price um, on top of binoculars, any other sort of optical needs that you have. So you guys might, so you guys will notice that my videos are going to be much better. My long range video is going to be much clearer uh, from here on out, and it's in, all in part to this spotting scope. So I hope you guys enjoy this. This is 600 yards on an egg from Cold War. I'll see you guys next time. There you go. What's up? Downrange at. Yeah, let's dry fire one first, actually. Okay, so downrange at 611 yards. I got the Ipsic Steel and hanging in front of that Ipsic Steel plate, I've got a golf ball. So apparently there's been a somewhat of a challenge going around. I think it originally started out with Coda Boy Tactical uh, to do shoot a golf ball at 600 yards. Um, and originally I think the challenge was with a, was with a gas gun. So. I was out here practicing. I got an F class match next Saturday or this Sunday. Uh, so I was out here doing some practice and I grabbed a couple golf balls before I left the house in, in anticipation of trying this. So before I even start practicing anything else, I came out, I figured I would uh, see if we couldn't knock this out. And I think the original challenge was in two shots. And I saw Kenny from, uh, from Eagle Eye or Eagle Eye Shooting. I saw that he did it with a uh, 22 Creedmoor in three shots. So let's see if we can't knock this thing out in two or three shots. We got quite a bit of mirage, but I can still see through it. We got the the top angle on here, the Hilux top angle, and we are now filming through the Hawk. spotting scope which is significantly going to improve the video quality so here we go let's see let's give it let's just give it a minute of wind it's starting to boil actually let's cut that back all right so here we go Six hundred yards, golf ball. Wow. 
One shot. Yes, sir. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, that was legit one shot. Legit. One shot, golf ball, 600 yards. Cold bore. To prove to you that was cold bore, I loaded up 40 rounds to practice with today. There's my box. So there's 39 and the one. So, <laughs> I honestly did not expect that to go first shot, but I'll take that any day of the week. The uh, wind was about a half value at about six mile an hour, and I saw right before I got ready to break the shot, I saw the uh, wind start, the mirage start to boil. So I cut the wind back to a half for to back to a half MOA, which was more than more or less just spin drift, or about half spin drift and a tick of wind, and we smashed it. So let's go down here and check this out. So here it is. Looks like uh, after we smacked it, it wrapped around here a few times because it was, uh, it was hanging about. Yeah, it was hanging right there. So let's see here. Looks like there is the entrance hole and the exit is... Uh, come on the exit is right there so it looks like the golf ball kind of uh, expands and contracts there as you can see exit entrance or that may be the opposite way either way uh, but it looks like the golf ball kind of expands and contracts there as you send something through it and something else that I thought was kind of uh, kind of neat and actually kind of proves that the, the bullet definitely went through the golf ball there is Typically when you shoot a piece of steel like this, when the bullet impacts the steel, there will be a nice, perfectly fine dot in the very center of the impact that will show you exactly the exact point of impact on the steel. Um, as you can see, there is none of that. I'm assuming that's because as the bullets went through the golf ball here, it uh, started to come apart out the back side. And so when it impacted the steel, the bullet was actually already coming apart and cause there to uh, be no real fine defined spot where the bullet impacted and that's also i don't know if that's just from the power of the the som at 600 yards or if it's because the bullet was actually completely coming apart but you can see all the uh, shrapnel around it i'm assuming that bullet was actually completely coming apart as it came through the back side so there you have it that is 611 yards cold bore on a golf ball so I think that counts as uh, doing the challenge. I got a uh, six arc coming, or six arc barrel. And as soon as that gets here, I'll have it put together. Maybe we'll try this again with a uh, Gasca and his Coda Boy Tactical uh, intended, I do believe. So there you go. 600 yards on a golf ball, one shot.